All right, family. A wonderful Ghana journey of a lifetime comes to an end. This is our 21st journey of a lifetime to Ghana, and it's another incredible journey. Just want to directly thank everybody who made the journey and, and came with us and showed great energy and love and literally just enjoy this incredible itinerary. So just appreciate everybody. Thank you for coming through and keeping the energy strong and keeping us uh, connected and um, being an inspiration for those who are looking to come in the future. Let them know that Ghana is a wonderful country and the country is not stopping you from coming here. You just have to just uh, work out a few requirements, which uh, you don't have to be a professional or anything. Be. All you have to do is just follow our directions and I'm available to go through the details with individuals and also in group settings also. That way everything is clear and then all the details for all of our journeys are on our website at africaforafricans.org. Uh, so I want to thank everyone also for just going with the flow of the schedule because you're literally just moving around a big country and you're in and out of hotels, you're in and out of different uh, places, restaurants, tour sites and moving around. And over the time frame, just hoping that everyone just got a chance to process everything all the way and see all the wonderful, incredible opportunities in the country and look past some of the flaws and look at the flaws as uh, opportunities and things that we can you know, be a part of the future. So I was encouraging more for us to, you know, to honestly just open your minds to the adventure and the journey and think about the possibility of what more of us can do and more of us are focused on living and doing business here and just looking at uh, the future. Uh, Ghana is one of the countries where, where we feel it has great opportunities for us to build something from the diaspora to where you can literally have all the things that you know we need to have, which is our land to build everything that we need to be completely independent and sustainable. So these are the things that you know we see in the country. Uh, and it's, you're talking about a very cultural country, but also very tropical. So rich in the rich in the culture, but also the land is fertile where you can grow the things you want to grow and live in paradise. Uh, so we're always telling more and more of us that uh, don't get stuck in the major cities. Be adventurous. Uh, go out and look at land and build the things that we feel like we need to build. There's a lot of things that need to be done. And we just have to just put more of our mind and energy to it. And I want to also just thank uh, my good brother Yao and Nana and my good brother Duncan for just rolling with me for the, for the 10 straight days around the country and that's been very supportive and helpful to our group. Yeah. So appreciate them. But once again, family, appreciate everybody, energy. Thanks for the support and thanks for, again, being an inspiration to other people because I really feel when people see us in Africa, they're going to make nothing can stop you know, our folks from coming. And things like that, no mandates, no nothing. Now, so brother, Nana, Yao, our tour guide, just wanted to just give a, a farewell to everyone as we close out. I go, well, on behalf of the drivers and the driver's assistant, and myself, and Amaya and Duncan, we want to say thank you very much for joining Bumari. He's the man helping everybody in Africa to make a living. And therefore, we want to say thank you very much. And while we fall short, kindly forgive us. Next time we'll make amends and save Danny. Those of you who are leaving, safe flight back home to your families. Those of you who are staying for a few days, enjoy your stay and God bless you all. Absolutely family.